In the previous video, you learned how to create a sequence and modify its tracks to prepare for the edit. Let's start going through some of the generic editing techniques that you use every day. I have some media loaded into the Source Viewer and I want to edit it into the sequence. The sequence consists of a few shots already cut together. At this point, you have a few choices on how to perform the edit. To the right of the menu bar, you will see three icons. The first button is the Insert Edit with a yellow indicator. This will ripple the sequence from the point of the edit. I'll just undo the operation. You can use the Edit menu and choose Undo or use the keyboard shortcut. The second button is the Overwrite Edit with the red indicator. This will overwrite any existing shots from the point of the edit. The third button in the row contains a whole bunch of additional editing functionality. The default operation is a Replace Edit, but expanding the drop-down menu shows that you can Align Edit, Append, Prepend, Ripple Replace and Fit to Fill into the open sequence. An additional tool for preparing your edits is the thumbnail view for storyboard editing. Swipe to the right of the screen to bring up the overlay interface and choose the thumbnail display. In the media library, ensure you enable the eye icon to view your folder in the thumbnail view. Compared to other nonlinear editors, this would be the equivalent of viewing your source thumbnails in a bin. Click on the gear pull down menu and choose Clean Up All. You can now go through the process of organizing your media in a storyboard edit. You can scrub the thumbnails, play the media, as well as mark them up for the edit. Once you have made your creative editorial choices, you select the first shot of the edit and then hold down Command and click on the rest of the shots in the correct order. You will notice that as you select the clips, they are also being selected in the media library. It doesn't matter where you select your clips, whether in the thumbnail view or in the media library. With all the clips selected, drag the selection down to the sequence. When you release the cursor, the edit will be created in the sequence. Swipe to the right of the screen and switch back to the Source Sequence view. I don't know if you noticed the indicators in the sequence when I dragged the clips into the edit. I'll undo what I just did and then I'll drag the edit in again. Dragging the clips from the media library, I'll hover them over Video Track 1. You can see the indicator on the left of the selection telling you which track of the sequence the selected clips will be edited into. When the selection is aligned with the track, the edit will be placed on the respective track. However, if the selection was placed above the existing tracks, a new track will be created and the selected clips will be edited onto the new track. Just remember that drag and drop editing will affect the sequence in different ways depending on whether or not the ripple mode is active. This button is located above the sequence to the right. In the next video, we'll start looking at some of the tools in the timeline view and learn to navigate the edit.